we're going to go back to the problem that we had on the previous classwork when we're talking about the game of life where I spin a spinner mark 1 to 10. In this case, we're trying to find probabilities as opposed to just defining the events that count. So we previously knew that only a 7 counted as spin a 7. That's one event that counts. When we're spinning a spinner mark 1 to 10, there's 10 possible events. Since they're all equally likely, the one event that counts out of the 10 possibilities tells us that the probability is 0.1. For spinning an odd number, there were five events that counted in that space. It counted spinning a 1, 2, 3, or I'm sorry, 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9 is five total numbers out of the 10 possibilities. It means it's 0.5 of spinning an odd number. Spin a number less than three only included one and two. So there were two possibilities out of the 10. That's why the probability of it occurring is 0.2. For spin a number greater than five, we had six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So there were five total numbers greater than five out of the 10. That's why it occurs with probability 0.5. So the general skill here is figure out how many simple events fit the lettered event Take that number divided by the total number of events in the sample space. This only works when we know everything's equally likely, but when we have this spinner, we do know they're all equally likely. The next question is from a two-way table. There's two different ways these tables can be shown to you. Either they can give you the proportions or they can give you the raw numbers. In either event, you're probably better off finding totals just to make sure everything fits. So I would start out by saying the row total is 0.38 plus 0.09, which gives me 0 0.47. 0 0.21 plus 0.32 gives me 0.53. The column totals, 0.38 plus 0.21 gives me 0.59. And 0 0.09 plus 0.32 gives me 0 0.41. When you've got the column and row totals, it should be the case that when you add across or add down, you get the same thing. And specifically, when it's this proportion version, I should get 1 when I add across or down. 0.59 plus 0.41 does give me 1. 0.47 plus 0.53 also gives me 1. That means we have 100% of the table represented. But since they gave it to me as proportions, I'm not going to have to divide by the table total when I go to find probabilities. I could still divide by the table total because I'm dividing by 1 and we get the same thing. It's just an unnecessary step when it's already in proportion form. So when they ask me the first question, the student is a business major. What that's really doing is isolating the first row. So it includes both the males and females that are business majors. For that reason, the answer I'm going to return is the total of that row, or 0.47, that are business majors of the people who were serving. Question six, six asks, the student is a business major and female. Well, business major and female is a specific cell within the table. Here's where business meet, major meets female. So right here, this 0.09 represents the proportion. For question seven, it says the student is male. Male is a column. It includes both business majors and not a business major. So I want the total of this whole column, which is 0.59. Finally, it asks me the student is male and not a business major. Again, that's a specific cell where they overlap, where male meets not a business major. It's this cell right here that has probability 